Uh, yesterday we came here to just um, because a uh, grandson tell he remember a uh, grandfather remember uh, some crosses in this field behind us and uh, we wanted to check it out if it could be soldiers lying here so we make some come out in this field and make some tests with the rods and uh, we have good indication so we start open one area where it uh, we believe it is one soldier or maybe it's several graves so we dig it open and soon we find bones and uh, then we take we have grave here and soldier here so we check on both sides if we find more and of course there is more soldiers so the diggers come out uh, from the field and we open up uh, our trench to see how many soldiers it can be and uh, in total Yesterday we find 13 soldiers and we are back here today and we have found four or five more right now but it's uh, probably a lot more here. Uh, it's German soldiers. We have a few uh, ID tags, dog tags, so we can uh, get identification and uh, it's very little equipment on them. Some of the Germans, have, uh, some of the soldiers have uh, Helmets, uh, belt equipment, we found one rifle alongside the soldier. Okay, we have two soldiers, we have one on the right and one on the left. The guy on the left is badly injured on the knee and it's splintered at a different angle. They strapped a rifle to one leg and it was, it was bound like a splint. Uh, and if you see on the field here where they are working, you see there is sticks where we dug yesterday. And each stick is where the head of the soldier was, so his feet is in, in our direction now. And that is how we can um, try to think where is the rest of the grace. Now we have a good line, so we will follow that. And when it's no soldier on each side, we will check in front and in behind in case it's, it is several rows. Because we don't know how many graves there are here. So uh, it will be very interesting to see how, uh, what, what we find and who we find. As you can see, every stick is uh, where it was one body. And uh, when we was digging, we was wondering uh, why it is like this, why it's some place there are uh, three, some place there are four, next place it is four again, and then three again. We were thinking, why is it like this? Why are they spaced like this? And uh, we come to the conclusion that they have uh, been brought here with a horse carriage or a ambulance carriage which only had room for four so they knew here come three dead maybe one wounded so they prepared three graves and they uh, put them down and when next carriage comes they know it's four dead so they make four graves uh, and put them down uh, and it goes like this and in total today we have found uh, 27 uh, German soldiers buried here, which we have recovered. Uh, we found dog tags on several of them, so they can be identified and have name grave. Some of them uh, we saw had big battle damages, broken bones. Uh, we found bullets uh, with one uh, body in chest area. Um, I think somebody told me it was uh, one with big splinters in the head. Uh, so, so we could see these guys have been killed in combat. Uh, so it's a, it's a very strange feeling standing here and looking at all these graves. So, uh, yeah.